Ja, välkomna in till Tesla S. Vi sitter alltså i en bil här nu mitt på mässan och i Nvidias monter faktiskt. Och det som är speciellt med den här förutom att vi har en, jag vet inte, en A-stor skärm i instrumentmanuellen är att den drivs med Tegra 3-kretsar. Och vi har Evan här som ska hjälpa oss att gå igenom lite vad, vad det här ger för någon funktion. Please. Hi. So, Hi. What we have is a full touchscreen interface. We replaced all the traditional hard controls with touchscreen equivalents. So for example, you have your climate control panel at the bottom. Um, we have all the traditional uh, hard controls in the touchscreen, so we can really innovate with the controls. So for example, for the sunroof, you can actually just drag it where you want it to go. Um, for the headlights, you can see the live status of the lights and then adjust the controls here. Um, similarly with the openings, like the trunks, you can just press a button on the touchscreen and the trunks open up. So everything is basically controlled through the touchscreen. Yeah. Um, we have a second display here in the instrument cluster, and that's for more driver-focused content. But it talks directly to the center display, so they stay in sync. Um, and for this display, you can control it with the steering wheel controls. So you do have some tactile feedback when you're driving. Um, so you don't always have to use the touchscreen. How is uh, everything connected into the car? Do you have like uh, specific sensors for specific uh, parts and features, or uh, how, how has this been built by Nvidia and uh, Tesla? So actually, Tesla um, is using an Nvidia chip to drive the displays, but the software is all made in-house by Tesla. Okay. So we've designed uh, the systems to run on Linux, and we have our own custom application on top of it for the UI. But it was all designed in-house by Tesla. Yeah. Nice. Is this car uh, being sold as well with this uh, system? Yeah, so every every Model S will have the displays in it. So it it's come standard with the car. Okay, nice. Um, there's also a data connection in the car, a cell connection. So you get uh, internet, so you can get Google Maps, which are shown here. Uh, we also have a web browser, and we have some ability to um, access the car remotely through an iPhone app or a web browser. Okay, how could, what can you do with the remote uh, connection? So you can do things like uh, get the cabin ready, like get, get it at a nice temperature at the right time of day. <laughs> um, you can start charging. Uh, you can also check the state of charge and check, you know, where where is my car. <laughs> so stuff like, I like that. It, I like it. So the big question: What happens when you have a power failure? <laughs> Does the car explode and <laughs> burn? It, definitely not. No. <laughs> What security measures have you, if you have an electrical problem or a software problem, is the car just inoperable or...? Uh, so actually, we, what's, what's kind of cool is that we have redundancy in all of the systems. Okay. So we're actually using two, two Tegras yeah. and we can uh, deal with the case where one of them breaks. So nice. we so have, have redundancy have across. Yeah. Okay. And if one breaks, then you can get that information so you can do repairs while the other one is... Exactly. Um, but we're obviously designing the system not to break. <laughs> so I bet you do. Um. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much, Evan. You're welcome. Thanks.